Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So in this video, 2020 new PictoBlocks versus Arduino IDE, I compared programming an Arduino in PictoBlocks and in the original Arduino IDE. But I got this comment right here. Can you please help me upload a video about serial communication? And that's a good question because I actually looked around in PictoBlocks. I didn't see anything about serial. So here we go. So here I have a GPS module, it's serial, and I have it hooked up to an FTDI board so that it's basically directly connected to my PC. And you can see in this terminal session here, it's actually returning information from the GPS module to my PC. So we know that's working. I programmed it years ago using this terminal session and AT commands according to the manufacturer's specifications to use the 9600 baud, 8 data bits, parity, none, stop bits, one, all that stuff. So that's been set in stone for 10 years for this device. So now we're going to use PictoBlocks to take this serial signal from the GPS chip on the secondary serial port on the Arduino Mega and pass it to the primary serial port on the Arduino Mega, which is the USB port. So it'll be real simple, but it'll demonstrate how to use serial connections in PictoBlocks. All right, here we go. So if you haven't seen my first video about installing PictoBlocks, you can check that out right here. And then, of course, like I say, you can check out the previous video comparing PictoBlocks and the Arduino IDE. Of course, the first thing you have to do in PictoBlocks is select your board. I'm going to select Arduino Mega. It's not connected right now, so I'm going to skip past that. And let's just scroll through here. And you scroll and scroll and scroll. I don't see anything related to serial at all. Not at all. We get all the way down to the bottom. This almost, it says connect Bluetooth on serial 3, but that's for the oscilloscope in Dabble. So that doesn't make any sense. So I spent some time in Bing searching serial in PictoBlocks, and it talks about extensions. And you can add a serial extension, and I click through here, and I don't see anything about adding extensions. Oh, that's confusing. Board, we already saw that. Connect. There's nowhere up here where I can see how to add extensions. So I continue to look around, and I look down here and go, well, what's that? And you see it pop up, and it says, add extensions. So, bingo. And this is cool, because it opens up a lot of interesting possibilities. Here you can see it's grayed out anything that's not compatible with the Arduino or the selected board, but we're looking for the communications extension. And once I pop that in, here you go. Set serial, read bytes, bytes available, get a number, read bytes as a string, write something to serial. So this should be relatively easy at this point. We just didn't know how to expose that serial communication extension in PictoBlocks. So I'm going to set out to build the example that we just discussed that's going to take the GPS serial signal from the secondary Arduino serial port and pass it to the first Arduino serial port. So here we go. Okay, so let's see if we can sound this out. First, I'm going to go to Arduino Mega and say when the Arduino Mega starts up. Now I'm going to go to communication because I want to set the communication parameters. We're going to need port 0 and we're going to need serial port. So we're going to set the baud rate on serial port 0 and serial port 1. We're going to use 9600 because like I say that GPS module is already programmed. Okay, so I think that's all the setup we need. So now in control we want to Repeat forever. Yeah, this is going to be easier than we thought. I'm going to write serial bytes on 1 on serial 0. Let's take a look and see what the code looks like. Yeah, serial print lines, serial 1 read. So we've set up our serial ports. And we've set up our void loop. So printing to serial is going to be the contents of serial 1. So I'm going to get to wiring this right now. Okay, so we got this wired. So you can see we've basically got the ground and the power here on the module connected to 5 volt and ground on the Arduino Mega. 
and then TX and RX on the GPS module come across to serial port 1 on the Mega, but you got to remember to cross the wires so that TX goes to RX and RX goes to TX as you come across from the module to the board. Other than that, this is pretty straightforward. I think we're ready to go ahead and write this code to the board and see what happens next. So I've gone ahead and connected the board to COM4. Now we're going to upload the code. Okay, so it says it's done. Okay, so let's see what we're getting in Fox term. Looks like it's streaming some sort of data. May not be the data we're interested <laughs> in seeing. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and halt this and see what we can make of this data here. Yeah, we're going to have to look again here. So, after that first try, I kept going. Yeah, read bytes from serial 1 was just giving us gibberish. We saw that. I tried read bytes as a string from serial 1. And then I thought, well, maybe if I set serial 0 to a faster baud rate than serial 1, that would clean up the gibberish. No, I was still getting gibberish. So then I tried get a number from serial 1 and write it to serial 0, and that started working for me. So we're going to check that out right now. I even added this if statement to see if bytes are available on serial, then write the number from serial 1 to serial 0. So we're going to fire this thing up, send the code over there. So we get our board, Arduino Mega, get our connect. We're connected, and now we're going to upload that code. Okay. I really like these Arduino Megas because they have a total of four serial ports. The serial zero is shared with the USB connector on the board. Obviously, if you're not connected to USB, you could theoretically use that serial zero for something else. You just can't program it and use it at the same time. You got your RX and TX zero. You got your RX and TX1, RX and TX2, RX and TX3. And that's the Arduino Mega board there. So I'm going to open up Foxterm now and close PictoBlocks. Here's Foxterm. New COM port connection. I'm going to go to that uh, 115K. There we go. So we can see what time it is, and it's slowly going to cycle up in the satellite count. And then we'll start to see GPS coordinates come in. Okay, I made the fonts a little bigger in Fox term, and you can see we're starting to get some fixed data here. Don't worry, you can't exactly figure out where I'm at from these coordinates yet, so we're going to stop this. So we found out that by clicking on this Add Extension button down here, we have many more options available in PictoBlocks, including serial communication for the Arduino. And we've demonstrated we can get the serial data from this GPS module connected to our Arduino. And I want to thank my friend for his question on my video, 2020 New PictoBlocks versus Arduino IDE. And stay tuned, everybody. Thanks again. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe. Check out some of these other videos. And thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.